So we're back at the Mirage now. We have our floppy disk with the wavetable written on it. So I'll put that in the disk drive. And let's talk a bit about wave samples and waveforms in sound process. The first 16 wave numbers in sound process are wave samples. And wave samples can either be 16 pages or 32 pages in length. And those take the first 16 uh, wave numbers in sound process. Uh, wave number 17, uh, yeah, 17 through 72, uh, those are the single cycle waveforms. And they can either be one, two, or four pages in length for the fourth uh, wave number. And the um, uneven wave numbers, they can only be one page in length. The every second wave number can be one or two pages in length and then again there's the last row of uneven wave numbers which is one page in length only. So we're at the front panel of the Mirage. We have the sound process OS loaded and now let's just load our wavetable page by page. Before we can load something, we first need to decide what we're going to load. So if we look at the manual, parameter 13 is the type of parameter, uh, the type of information that we're going to load. So parameter 13, we're going to choose a value of, in this case, we have three choices. We can either load a waveform from another sound process disk, we can load a sound process patch or we can load a Mesos waveform or wave sample. So at parameter 13 we're gonna choose value 3 uh, Mesos waveform. The next parameter that we're gonna set is parameter 14 and there we need to choose from which uh, Mirage bank we're gonna load. And as you know the Mirage disks uh, they work with uh, six banks, so there's the lower one bank, um, yeah, lower one, upper one, lower two, upper two, lower three, and upper three banks. Our wavetable is on lower bank one, as you remember from MDisk when we wrote it. So that's what we're gonna choose here, and that's what we're gonna load from. The next thing we need to set is the source waveform, the position of the source wave. Uh, we already set it to Mesos, but now we need to define where our waveform starts in hexadecimal. So, as you remember, our voice wave was the first wave and it starts uh, as first thing in the wavetable, so it starts at zero, zero. So that's why we wrote it down. Um, so yeah, as the source, we're gonna give in zero, zero. The next parameter is 16, and 16 is the destination. So we have to decide uh, in which wave number we're gonna save our waveform. Um, and since it's a single cycle waveform, we can only choose from 17 to 72. So we're gonna load it um, to wave number 17 and we press enter and the drive moves and our waveform is loaded so let's check that um, parameter 73 is oscillator a um, i'll set that to a value of 17 and that should give us our uh, voice waveform <laughs> And it is, so that's awesome. We're gonna repeat the process now for the next waveform. So we don't need to set parameters 13 and 14. We already did that, so we're going straight to 15. And, and there we go. And we'll give it a value of 0, 1, which is our saw waveform. Um, and then we move to parameter 16. And we give that a value of 18 and we press enter and let's check it the parameter 73 set it to 18 and, and it 
sounds so nice and gritty. Let's check the wave numbers table. Um, I suggest we're gonna load the bell wave on wave 19 and 20 because it's two pages long. And then load the square wave to wave number 21. We could load the square wave to 19, but then uh, wave number 20 is useless. Uh, because the bell wave has two pages. So I suggest we just load the bell wave to 19 and 20 and then the square wave to 21. So let's move to parameter 15. Uh, yeah, there we go. And set it to a value not of 0, 2 but of 0, 3 because that's the first page of the bell wave. Now at parameter 16 destination we'll set it to 19 and enter and there we go that was loaded now let's load the second page which is 04 and set parameter 16 to wave number 20 and enter and that's our bell wave and let's load the square wave uh, 2 so parameter 15 set it to 02 then the destination is 21, hit enter, and that's it. Square wave is loaded now, let's check the bell wave. By setting parameter 73 to a value of 19. And as you can hear, this sounds incorrect. And the reason why is that because wave number 19 is still set to a one page uh, waveform and we should set it to a two-page waveform. So here's what we're gonna do. So we'll check parameter 18 and parameter 20. Parameter 18 is wave select and parameter 20 is the wave length. So if we go to 18 we choose waveform 19 and then in parameter 20 we will set the length to two pages. Now this is tricky because a value of 2 actually means that it's one page. So if we set it to a value of 3, um, it means uh, that uh, it has a length of 2 pages. So let's do that. Yes. Uh, that sounds like our bell wave form. So let's check the square wave as well. Let's set parameter 73 to a value of 21, which is our square wave. Uh, there you go. So now that we have them all loaded, uh, it's time to start making some patches.